Alrighty, what is up guys, Tony Torkel back at it again with another Wi-Fi battle. This time we're going to be facing off against Chris from the Discord server. Server link is down below. If you go want to check it out, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment on this video, and subscribe. And we'll get right on into the battle. Ready, let the battle begin. He's going to send out with the Trevenant as his lead, all spooky and such. As I lead out with my Spider Boy, which is actually kind of chilling here. Um, I feel like he might have Taunt or a Willow on this thing. So I'm going to play into it, and I'm just going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. He actually withdraws. This is kind of interesting. Maybe it's Weezing? Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, Shadow Sneak's going to come through. He's going to do nothing to Weezing. Now, this is probably going to be Will-O-Wisp here. And I'm just going to go for the Sticky Whim. There's the Willow. He can burn my spider, that's fine. But I am going to be getting up my hazards. Bloop. Now at this point he has a couple of different options. But honestly I'm not really attacking at this point. And I think I'm just going to go for layer toxic spikes. There's a sludge bomb. I eat. And there's some tea spikes. Now, if I get another layer up, I can poison something really badly before the wheezing can clean it up. So, um, I think, I don't think he'll go for a sludge bomb again. I'm going to pivot into Doug Dimidome. Alright, in we go. He does go for the Sludge Bomb, which is fine. The only problem here is he might try to Willow me. And I don't really like that. I'm just going to Iron Head here and try to flinch. Iron Head's going to do some decent... Oh! <gasps> the Willow miss. The Willow miss. Okay. We know the Willow's coming. I'm actually just going to go into Dirge at this point. Weezing's out here dancing his butt off. Because I'm going to switch in my Crocodile. And the Willow's going to come right in on his Skelly. Ain't going to work. And the Black Sludge going to come in there. Now, this could be Flashfire Flareon. Or, ooh. He has too many answers for the fire, so I'm just going to go Shadow Ball here. He's going to stay in. Crazy. Ooh! Skeldurge almost going to get the kill. There's the Sludge Bomb. Not going to do much. Does get the poison, though, which is unfortunate. He's going to put us on a bit of a timer. Um, do I want to slack off here? I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball with the Life Orb and everything. I think Shadow Ball is probably the best place since we're poisoned to just get rid of this thing while we can. Alright, so In's going to come the Cacturn. Now, this is probably Sucker Punch here, I'm assuming. It's got to be Sucker Punch. T-Spikes is going to come through, which is great. Now, if he predicts that, I'm actually going to go for the Slack off here. There's a Sucker Punch. Let's go. We are going to be able to heal. And that's going to put us in a good range. Now, do we think a Sucker Punch will kill? No. Um. I kind of want to go Eridos. And the reason is, is I want to get another layer of spikes up if I can. 
Because Hex, Miss Maggie is about to come through. Alright, so we're going to save the crocodile for later. I'm going to send out my nice and powerful Ariados. He's going to Terra. What is he going to Terra? Terra Ghost. Interesting. There's a Dark Pulse. Almost going to take me out. With the burn that is gonna do close. I live on two! Okay, the disco balls are down. So at this point, I am just gonna go for that toxic spikes. He goes for his own spikes, which is kind of wild. Maybe he predicted I'd sucker punch there. But we just go over for our own T spikes. And now we can poison more things, which is great. And now we get a free switch to Hmm. Now at this point I have a really good strat rolling to where I can put Miss Maggie in here and I think it can do work. So let's see. I think this thing will probably go Sucker Punch here. But on the off chance he goes Dark Pulse. I know if I call mine I could take one. And we could Terra Steel. Show off that axe. Just a little bit of a defensive typing here. To kind of protect Miss Magius as it is pretty darn frail. Now, now that we have the hatchet on our head we are going to be able to calm our mind. Which is going to help us against this character. There's a Dark Pulse. We eat one, which is nice. Um, do I want to risk that Sucker Punch? I'm going to go for another one. There's another one. Another one. Oh my gosh, I couldn't talk. I'm gonna look greedy. I'm gonna hope that it's not Dark Pulse. It is Dark Pulse. Yuck. Ooh. How much is this gonna do? Oh, the poison. Okay, this feels like Sucker Punch. It's gonna be Sucker Punch. At this point, I'm gonna click Hex. There we go. Hex is gonna come through and take out the character. Beautiful. I really thought Sucker Punch was gonna take me out there. Thank goodness. Whew. So, character's out of the way. And Miss Magius is looking pretty good here with the webs up and two calm mines. Looking like we're gonna take the game. Polyrath's gonna come in. Is this mock punch though? Is this thing a mock punch? Oh, it might. It might get mock punch. Um. We get mock punch. This is brutal. I'm gonna click the hex. He, we do outspeed. We're at plus two, and then it's gonna do half to the polyrath. Still good enough for me to claim Miss Maggie, Miss Miss Magius, on the thumbnail. You did great. You gotta do your little strat hex. You kind of gotta show what it's about. We gotta poison some things, hex some things. Skeletor kind of probably could have had hex on this set, I guess. But regardless, I think we he did she did pretty good. Colonel Mustard did good. Um Yeah, I think I just got this. Sandy Cheeks kinda comes in here. And he's big chilling, so Spike's gonna hurt a little bit. But we're gonna proc this. Which is kinda wild. And since he's already gonna use he already used his Terra, we know that nothing's gonna want to come and take a charge beam to the face because i'm kind of wild with it and i use charge beam on my sandy shocks because i'm already plus one so if i get one charge beam off i'm plus two and that's pretty savage 
without good speed control, this thing can kind of wreck shop. So he's going to go into the Trevenant, which is interesting. He's going to get caught in that darn sticky web. And take some spikage. And we're going to miss. Yikes. Not great. Um, I'm not sure what this thing wants to go for. But at this point, I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I am going to get out of here. I'm going by. I'm not going to do enough damage. So, we're out. Um, I kind of want to go Dirge here. Dirge kind of done put some work this battle. And I think he's the best option here. Potentially. There's the curse. Ooh. He's not going to be faster than me, though. Oh, my goodness. He's going to put a curse on my skill of Dirge, which is kind of wild. I'm kind of okay with that, though, honestly. Um, Looking at this, after the curse, I find him in a lot of pain. I won't deny. Harvest, he's going to get a Citrus back? That absolute savage? Dude, it's like he didn't take curse damage at all. Wow. All right. Um. I still can't really fire off a. He is gonna withdraw the Trevenant. Yeah, I think Flareon's coming in at this point. Polyrath. Okay, so we made the right play going for a Shadow Ball here. Sticky Web's gonna hurt. Not really hurt, but kind of put him in that place where we can outspeed probably. Oh, maybe not. Oh my goodness. I think Skelly's going to drop to the poison anyway. Oh my god, we lived. Okay. Polygraph's chilling in here, poisoned. I'd lose to the curse, which is fine. We got some heavy damage off on the Polygraph, which is huge. And now, we can kind of just go into... I kind of want to go to this, but... I think it's way too risky. Um, I'm going to Sandy Cheeks again. And with the poison, I can honestly bolt switch here, and I think that's the best play. I'm going to bolt switch. All right, so Volt Switch is going to be able to take out the Polyrath nice and clean. Very good. And who's he going to go into? We're going to go back. Um, There's Flareon and the Avalon. Both of which kind of... Ooh. Hmm. I kind of have to go to this. Benny's going to come in. I'm going to just have to hope it's the coffee table that wants to come in. Trevenant's going to come in. Which is not great, actually. Um, Sticky Web's going to catch him up. I can, though. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to Stealth Rock here. Because I don't know what he wants to do. And I can get some chippies on the last two mons. And I wish I would have done this at the start of the battle. There's the leech seed. Trying to set up that recovery. Which is definitely being recovered. That's for sure. Um, I don't have anything to hit this thing with, so... I mean, it doesn't really have anything to hit me with either, though. I'm going to go for an Iron Defend. I want to see what's up. I want to see what this Trevenant has besides the Curse. And if he curses Vinny, that's great. 
He's gonna go for a horn leech. That's oh, that's actually not bad. But I don't think I got toxic on this thing, did I? Oh, rocky helmet though. No, this isn't gonna work. He's gonna eventually gonna harvest. I think. Does he eventually harvest his berry back? I'm not sure. Poison? Not gonna really do too much. Yep, there's the harvest. Exactly. Exactly the problem. That's not good. Trevenant can literally stall me for days here. Um. I'm gonna go to Sandy. Because I kinda need a pivot. I kinda need him to knock me out potentially. It's gonna be up to Doug Dimmadome. There's the spikes. There's the curse. Which is horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Now that we can outspeed and take him out as long as he doesn't get the citrus right now. No citrus was activated. Now I'm about to just volt switch because it's going to land. You son of a gun. He's going to protect. No shot. Oh no. Oh, the poison's gonna take him out anyways. Oh. Okay. Trevin is gonna go down. Three minutes left in the timer. Curse is gonna hurt like a truck. Sandy shots. Oh, this might be quick attack. I don't know, when I did Flareon, I put Quick Attack on it because Guts is crazy. And I'm actually about to boost it with Guts. Because of the poison, actually. But, I do have the Earth Power here. So, this is probably the best situation I could be in. As long as there's not Quick Attack. We just have to hope there's not Quick Attack. It is quick attack. No. Oh, man. Okay. I should have went to Vinny. Right away. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to lose this way. I'm going to lose this way. I'm just going to go body press here. For straight damage. He's going to withdraw him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Avalug's going to come through. And we're about to destroy. We're about to destroy this Avalug. Actually, he's pretty defensive, so he might actually take one. Whoo! I'm so glad we got those rocks up. Body Press is going to put it into a range where we're going to be able to take it out next turn anyways. Oh my goodness. Vast coming through. Battle's gonna end in 50 seconds. It's coming down to the wire. Avalug is gonna get destroyed by the Pearl Pass. And it's gonna come down to the Flareon. But I think with the Rocky Helmet, it's gonna be real close. We do have Doug Dimido in the back, chilling, vibing. Alright, the stones are going to put it in a place. For now, Body Press should do the trick. Flare Blitz coming through. Yeah, this is it. This is GG's because of the Flare Boost damage. Plus the Rocky Helmet. Right? Recoil. And the Poison. Ooh! And we're going to be able to bring Doug in. And at this point, he has to attack, so we just click Sucker Punch, and that is going to be it. <gasps> no way! 
Oh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.